Okay, just wanted to show a little bit of the, uh, there's some saffron finches out there. I just got distracted. They're like little yellow birds. We also have a, a red-headed cardinal that hangs out and some doves. There's a dove over there on the power line. This is the house. It's very nice. Uh, we're in Paradise Park. This is just kind of near Kiao. Um, just down the road is a little town called Pahoa. Um, you can look it up. It's the neighbors. I'll show you inside. Here's our body sitting, chilling. As usual, one's resting. All the windows are open. There's no air conditioning, but it's really comfortable. The high is like 79 today. We'll take you out here on the deck. The back. Got a whole set of patio furniture grill. We use the grill this night. It worked great. Um, side porch. Catchment tank is right there. And if you look, these gutters is how the house gets water. Pipe goes down, runs all the water from the roof into the tank, and then the tank, uh, then it's, you know, water's pumped back into the house. Um, everybody's got them. As you can see, there's one over there. There's one over there. Just about every house is running this kind of system for water. There's one behind this house, too. Um, it's a beautiful place, and you can hear the birds. I'll be quiet for a minute. Doves, different birds making rackets. There goes a yellow saffron finch. Very pretty. The top of his head's kind of orange. That's obviously a male. I don't know if you can see him. Um, he is some kind of pretty down there. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's a real pretty little bird walking around in the grass. They're just beautiful. Um. Mauna Loa um, macadamia nut place is just down the road, about two miles. Home of all the macadamia nuts and the little blue packages you see everywhere. Anyway, I can't recommend this place enough. I'll try to put a link in the description for it. You know, we went down there and got some barbecued macadamia nuts. They're really good. Just want to do the quick little, you know, there's, uh, well, let me show you the rooms. We'll go back here. There, everything's kind of messy. But we've got a laundry room, room to the left, and bathroom here, another room here, master bedroom with a bath in there. Anyway. That's it for now. We're going to try it. Okay, there's a seal over here. This is, uh, a black sand beach. I can't say it. It starts with a P. Uh, but I'll put it in the comments or get somebody to say it for me. And, you know, black sand is not necessarily real fine sand. Some of it is, but most of it's like a rock. Lava rock. Um, this uh, seal, what do they call it? Are they, let me inter, sir, can I interview you for a second? <laughs> what, uh, what kind of seals are these? Are they called monarchs or something like that? Oh, come on, there's a name. They're endangered. I know they're rare. Yeah, it's an endangered species. Yeah, you can't get near them. Uh, let me turn around so y'all can see the water. And as you get closer, you can see it is a it is sand. Uh, it's, gosh, it's beautiful. Guys, if you get a chance, you gotta come here. Okay? It's 
Let's see. Going on, but I guess this is a seal. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow, I didn't know it was just sitting there. There it is. Alright, we're gonna get over here and get a picture. There's also the Hawaiian turtle. He's just chilling. Yeah. They're monarch seals? Monk. Monk. Monk seals, that's right. I knew it had somewhere to near it, but I just couldn't remember. And they're they're uh they're protected. They're in there's only I think it's less than two thousand of them. Supposedly. I, that's what I heard. Oh, yeah. well, he's scratching. There's something over there where they're jumping off. No, I don't want to go all the way over there. Well, there's don't a place. There. Yeah. Okay, you want to go get in the water? Here's another view of them. But I guess sea turtles come up here too is why they have they have a sign about the Hawaiian green sea turtles. They much you keep outside, obviously. But I guess this uh, seal has figured out that he can come here and not get us get harassed. It's called Stop Point. It's really windy. I'm just gonna shoot video and let you look. Can you walk all the way down there? Or crawl your way down there? How do you get there? Oh, there's no option but to jump. There's some stairs. Okay.
I get to the water? really windy I'm sorry so how they fish here is they take a trash bag and it takes their fishing line out into the ocean <laughs> it's so windy dude it's it's howling but it's a giant cliff on top of the ocean and these two, they take a trash bag let the air fill up tie their fishing fishing line tie the trash bag around their fishing line Pulls her line out to the ocean. I'm filming it right now. Yeah, and then you see the trash bag floating on top of the water. That's wherever the line lands. That's where you're gonna be fishing from. And how they, it is nuts, dude. It is, well, it's a hundred foot cliff. And we're standing on top of uh, old lava. Dude, it's unreal. I've never seen anything like this. They, it looks like it's about, you know, 300 pound mono. But there's like four trash bags I see floating down on top of the water out there. Yeah, they don't want them back. <laughs> Eat them up. <laughs> native tongue, which I'm not sure what language this is. You're going to be famous. You're going to, you know, at least three people are going to see you on YouTube. Right, look at the trash bags out there. Like and subscribe. People like and subscribe. And there's a, uh, there's a fish of them. And I guess that would be like some kind of quarter pound Test monofilament way out there. Got a uh, unbelievable. Got a cover for that. Yeah. Coraline algae is the pink. 